Welcome fellas everybody into this new PDF to Express. Today let's take a look into how you can get started and edit your Shopify store footer. So whether you want to add custom links, social media icons, or simply just adjust the layout, I'm going to show you what we can do. And of course, a few elements that can help you to make your footer look a little bit much more interesting. So to get started, first of all, you want to access the footer section in the Shopify. So the first step here is to log in to Shopify. You have the link down below in the description so we can all get started totally for free. Once you are now inside your Shopify dashboard, let's locate here the online store into the left hand menu. And then I click here into the section that says themes. Now in the theme section, you'll see your current theme. Click into the option that says customize button to start editing your store. Now we are into the editor of the Shopify so we can start navigating to the folder into the theme editor. So now that you are here into the theme editor, you can see a preview of your store in the right side and of course different sections on the left side. You want to scroll all the way down and click into the folder section, which in this case here is folder. Now the folder is a section that appears at the bottom of every page on your website. It's a crucial space for links, contact details and some social media buttons. So if I click here into this folder, you can see the here into the lip hub, we can see now that we have the different elements so we can edit it. So let's start editing the content within the folder. You'll see different blocks that you can customize, including the menus. Here we can see some text, we can see uh, other elements. We can enable elements that you do or you don't want to see. For example, here have the payment method. We can show payment method icons or disable them. Check out how the changes are going to be painted automatically. We have the language selector. If you want to add a language, you can just add it here manually from the Google uh, language settings. The country region selector here. The social media icons. And enable the follow on shop. Now, if you want to, for example, let's say delete the email sign up, you can just delete it and of course use and sign up later. Now to the upper side, we have the color schemes. They can be helping you to change the schemes that you chose depending on the website that you have created. You want to edit your schemes, you want to focus here into theme settings and we have the colors. Into colors, I can add a new scheme. For example, let's say that the background is a background gradient and I choose this color, for example, and I have the text. Um, let's say white and I'm going to just leave this like that. If you wanted to use this scheme, let's go back into the section, scheme number three, changes for scheme number six. And check out how automatically it's going to be changed it out. Uh, in my case, I'm going to just stick around with the scheme at number three. Now, the next thing, of course, is to start by editing some more elements, for example, customizing the design or the layout. So we have just changed the background color. We have just adjusted the font and text, but we can do this directly here into the theme settings and go for typography. So if I scroll a little bit down, you can see that we have the body and the heading font, we can change this. In my case, I think that this one actually works really well, so I want not to edit this at the moment. Now, if you want to, for example, to add something else, for example, check out the mobile friendly footer. With these more customer shopping on the mobile, it's crucial to ensure that the footer looks great on mobile devices as well. If you go here into the section that says safe, now I'm going to change from the desktop into mobile. So I wanted to see how it actually looks my folder. And you can click in the, and you can edit a few elements, for example, the section padding to make this smaller or to make this with a little bit more space. In my case, I think that the bottom padding should be like 48. There we go. I'm going to close this and save the changes. So um, click here into save button at the top right of the screen before uh, publishing, take a final look at how your story appears by using the preview button. I think like the last thing that I can do and add into my folder is, let's say for example here, a new block. Into a new block, I'm going to go and add an image. And here, this image should be my logo. So I'm going to go for select image. I select my logo. In my case, a PNG file. This one don't have goes to any background. And the image width, let's say a little bit bigger there we go like that i go back and i think that i can make the folder have a top padding a little bit like this there we go so these actually works really well i can go here into safe check out how it actually looks into my desktop and there we go so lastly hit now into safe go for view and your website is now having a new folder here down section 
And well, that's it guys. You now know how to fully customize and optimize the footer of your Shopify store into the 2024. There are a few elements, of course, that can be edited within the coding section. If you go into custom CWS, you can add in a specific section or check out the theme settings where you can just add your socials, adding an uh, image to headline, description, or a custom CSS uh, for a specific section here into the footer. So, if you find it so helpful guys be sure to like subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated with more e-commerce steps from the text press thank you guys again for watching the video guys hopefully you can all see you next time